Hey guys, uh, welcome to a video, uh, that I meant to do for a while now, um, or not actually for a while, that I just, what am I saying? Welcome to a video that I decided to do literally maybe earlier this week when I wrote this again, because I read part one of this and I asked, in that video if I should uh you know if I should write a part two and most of you said yeah sure go for it and or, and by most of you I mean one person said write part two um but the I feel that video was fairly well received Maybe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know for sure, but it seemed like it was fairly well received. Like, I haven't gotten anything bad about it. The only thing I got was a comment saying nice stuff and another comment saying, uh, please write part two. So, you know, I've, that, if that's my only feedback, that's pretty good. And I got two likes on the video, so, you know. Welcome to Brennan Reads, um... Number two, I guess. Um, I wrote this maybe two hours, an hour, not that much time. Um, it was fairly easy to write, but that might be a bit rude to people who don't have the ability. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to start reading now. Uh, this is Willingly Kidnapped Part 2. Okay. Is reality finally setting in? Do you realize the situation? Oh, I'm reading that in the wrong voice, sorry. Is reality finally setting in? Do you finally realize the situation you put yourself in? It's not necessarily a good one, but if you cooperate, it won't be a bad one either. How does that sound? Those were next words to me. I was absolutely losing it. I had no idea why I'd made this decision. I knew I was fed up with daily life, but I would never think of making such a drastic choice, or so I thought. I made this choice, and it led to where I am now. Shut in some room with no windows, very little light, and next to no way out. I said nothing in reply, just sat there staring at the floor. Hey, say something. If you don't start talking, you're not getting breakfast. So, I have a question for you. What's your real name, anyway? I don't think you told me yet. She said to me, expecting an answer. Uh, I'm Evren. Why are you being relatively nice to me? You kidnapped me. I replied, slightly shocked, but relieved that I wasn't being tortured. Well, you kinda hired me to do it, so since you're sort of like my client, I'm gonna treat you all the- I'm not going to treat you all that badly. You're also allowed to do whatever you want. But, if I, have, if I ask you to do something, you have to do it. Also, you cannot go upstairs without permission. You have everything you need. This room is your bedroom, indicated by the mattress. The other room that I will show you in a little while is your living quarters. The door on the left of this room is a bathroom. Your phone and computer are in the other room, along with a fridge filled with food and drinks, and a couch for you to sit on. Only catch is you don't have access to that room after 10 p.m., and you are also required to eat at mealtimes designated by me. So, don't go eating all the snacks in your fridge one in one day. I will only restock it every two weeks. These were the basic rules I was given. In a few minutes, she showed me the other room, and I immediately checked my phone and tried to, to try and call someone. Don't worry about your phone. There's no service to it. Also, the laptop is simply for watching online videos, so I broke the keyboard. Have fun trying to navigate with only a mouse. For any of you that know, um, I don't think that is actually possible, unless you can bring up on-screen keyboards or have, uh, like, bookmarks. And even then, you can only watch videos that are recommended to you on your homepage of YouTube or via subscriptions and that kind of stuff. So it's a bit of a 
pain in the ass to do it with only a mouse. Which is why, yeah. Anyway, back to the story. I figured the phone... I figured the phone and laptop would have some sort of catch to them anyway. I glanced around the room and noticed a bookshelf with lots of books on it, figuring that would be the way I have to spend all my free time now. After she was done showing me the room, I spoke up and said, Um, uh, when is breakfast gonna be? Oh, yeah, breakfast. Sorry about that. I'll go upstairs and make it right away. Bye-bye, sweetie. I was left alone in the basement, and she went upstairs and locked the door behind her. I sat down on the couch, sighing, thinking, I'm never getting out of here. Why did I do this? What is wrong with me? I was so sick of my boring life that I set up a scenario where I would either kill or detain someone, or have myself fucking kidnapped. What was I thinking? I'm gonna die in here. I started crying softly, picking up my phone off the table, throwing it at the wall. God damn it, I shouted, f crying, falling over onto the floor. I just want to fucking leave, I said to myself quietly, sniffling, si sniffling si slightly. Oh, jeez, that was a bit of a butcherment. Um, yeah. At this moment, Ares came back into the room holding a plate of food. Hmm. <laughs> I made you breakfast, so you should eat it, she said, putting the plate down on the table. I took the plate, eating the food she made for me. Um, this whole thing was a mistake. I, I want to go home, I said, looking down. Huh, home? You want to go home? You can't. Not unless you can go a full 48 hours without making one complaint or request. Every time you do, the timer resets. You up for the game? She said with a smirk, almost as if it was her plan from the start. Of course I will. If that's what has happened, I'll do anything to get out of here. I said, looking right into her eyes. <laughs> how fun. You're going to regret that, you know. Normally how it goes is they keep resisting until the Stockholm Syndrome sets in, and then by then, they don't want to leave anymore. She said to me with a smile that sent chills up my spine. End of part two. Uh, my stories are a bit weird and they end sort of abruptly, but that's because I'm a somewhat amateur writer. But I feel they're still decent, and, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, watching this. Uh, or listening, whatever you prefer. And yeah, I'll see you whenever I make another video. Which could be in a few days, which could be tonight, which could be never.